Hello friends, welcome back and this is your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. In today's Excel video, we are going to learn how to generate all the dates for that specific month calendar. And this we are going to do it with the new dynamic array function which is sequence. So this is a workbook which we have two sheets. One is a report and the another is the master data. The master data, it has all the details of your sales records and the amount over here. And in this sheet, we would like to generate all the dates, entire date of that specific month calendar and the amount and the number of sales. So I'm going to break the formula into pieces and then we are going to club it into one formula. So the first thing what we need is the end of the month. So there's a function called EO month. We'll select the month, the date which is there, comma, and we'll hit zero. So that will generate end of the month. Now we need to calculate how many number of days are there. So I'm just simply going to say end date minus the start date. And plus we have to include the day itself. So 28 days. So we need to generate the data of 28 rows. Now we are going to call this amazing sequence function sequence. And in the sequence, the number of rows, that's 28. So I will select this 28 comma columns. Nothing. We don't want to go towards the columns start. Yes, of course, the start number is this date comma and the step is one. So as soon as I hit enter, my friends, bingo, that's the date we wanted to generate. So let us change the date one dash one. Wow. So we got the calendar date till 31st of January. That's work fabulous. So let us wrap all this step into this sequence function. That's how we will wrap the entire formula into one step. Now I don't need these cells anymore, so I can just delete them. So we are just going to quickly do the sum if, and I've always preferred to use sum ifs rather than sum if. So my table name is sales data. That's cool. So we are just going to simply say equals to sum if, and that's my sum ifs. So my sum range is in the master data, and this is my amount. Since it is an Excel table, it's had automatically detected the range, comma, my criteria range. Okay, that's my criteria range. Those are my dates, comma. And again, I'll go back to my report and my first criteria will be this report E6. Enter. Since I know that it is in dynamic array, I will just simply press the pound key. So that will allow Excel to understand that yes, it's in dynamic array and it has to pull all the information till the array exists. That's super cool. Now, similar way, we will write the count F formula, count F. And since it is my sales data and my range, I know it's a date. So sales date, comma. And again, I'm going to select this cell. I will press the pound key over here again to detect the dynamic array range, close parentheses, enter bingo this is what we were looking so now if i will change the date over here let us assume that it's 2-1 february you got the february data 3-1 wonderful it is super cool and super dynamic my friends and let me show you one more month 4-1 so we got this one now what we are going to do we are going to add a simple chart over here and I'm going to use this new feature, which is called ideas. What it does that it takes the information and the Microsoft server and the new AI engine will help you out to give you the best matches with your data. So the best match, which is there for my data is yes, this is the one. So, and even the number of dates with the number of sales as well. I'm happy with this one. So I'm going to insert it. And I'm going to say, yes, this was helpful for me. And this is my chart. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. We'll go to view. And in view, we are just going to remove the grid line. So that looks neat. Yes. Let us change the date to 2-1. So that should pick up the February data. 
dynamic arrays those are really amazing my friends you can simply see that with the help of simple sequence function how i was able to generate this date in the previous excel version it was not so easy to generate the dates but now with the help of the new calc engine and the sequence function you are able to do it within click of seconds so i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon you know why for the latest updates so signing off for today your friend farash sheik from f sheik excel master